you ready for the day? And I, I have a pretty big list. I mean, it's not like it's demanding. So today is Wednesday. And so I need to clean a bathroom and I need to fold a lot of laundry. If I don't get it all done, that's fine. When the kids get home, they can help me. And I do wanna make some blueberry muffins and I have some bananas that need to get used up. So I wanna make the banana bread and um, I wanna make some chicken salad. So yeah, and my kids are at school now, but school ends earlier. Um, it's a shorter school day. So I don't have a big of window as I did years past so um, I need to get the majority of my stuff done just because when they get home I'm wrangling kids and after school activities tutoring there's just a lot so yeah. all right time to hit the ground running join me today a friends on let's go and I'm all washed up I'm gonna start cooking while I get going on the baking I'm going to put all of this chicken breast into my instant pot for chicken salad and hopefully chicken enchiladas we'll see how far I could go with this so okay I'm gonna put some water in there put the lid on and get these going but before we moved I did film my chicken salad recipe for you guys so I'm gonna share it right now I'm gonna put that clip in so you'll see somewhat of the counter of the last house I was in. But my mother-in-law made it for us uh, a couple of weeks ago and she added dill in hers and I really enjoyed it. So the recipe I'm gonna share with you, I'm also going to put some dill in this one, so enjoy. So I have my trivet in here and I added a half cup of water and now I'm going to lay my eight chicken breasts in. But as I layer them in, I'm gonna salt and pepper them. And you can add as much chicken in your Instapot as you like, which is awesome. And you can use frozen chicken as well. Okay, let's put our lid on and set it to seal. And we're going to high pressure this for 10 minutes. Okay, when that comes to pressure, quick release. Looks good. Now I'm going to shred it up in the KitchenAid. Some of it shreds finer than most pieces, which is fine because I like it, it creamy. It's, it's all good. Okay, for my chicken salad, I like using red seedless grapes. And I just slice them in half and I put more grapes than the celery and onions in because just having a bite, each bite with the grape is so refreshing and brings so much flavor. So I like to have a lot of grapes in my chicken salad. Now you can also add um, nuts to it, like sliced almonds or cashews. I've mostly made mine with cashews. I would love to know down below what you put in your chicken salad. What do you do? I just do thin slices of the celery 
And all of this is by sight, really. I don't measure. So once I put all this into the chicken, we'll see if I want more onion or celery or grapes. Mm. Remember my green onions? It's been a couple of weeks. They're doing awesome. Nice and crisp. Okay, I'm gonna add in all the goodness. I don't measure, you guys. I just dump in some mayonnaise. And I do have another jar down in my food room, which I'm probably going to need. All right, I am gonna season it a little with some salt. Give it a taste, see what seasonings you wanna put in. But do what you like, and tell me below what you do. Because this is eight breasts, this could last my family a week or a few days. But today we're gonna have it with a croissant. So here I have some gorgeous croissants, yum. And I'm just going to slice in them. Mm, croissant chicken salad sandwiches. So, so yummy. All right, I'm about to make the best homemade blueberry muffins. I do have a video on this that I filmed like four or five years ago. They're so good. A lot of you have already made these and you love them. So, it calls for buttermilk. So to make my own buttermilk I'm gonna add a tablespoon of vinegar in my one cup of milk so this is just going to sit over here and do its thing I don't know if it like curdles what it does but whatever all right so I need to get flour baking soda baking powder salt brown sugar in here and then we'll do all the wet ingredients in the KitchenAid all right, I'm gonna be in my pantry filling my bowl with the flours, the sugars, the baking powders, and the baking soda. Um, everything is in here. I don't wanna bring everything out. Um, my oven's ready. And so I just brought my measuring spoons, the recipe, and the bowl to the pantry to fill the bowl up. It's just easier. I just don't feel like carrying everything out. I mean, this big jar is my all-purpose flour. So, meh, let's not do that. Uh, my salt is out there. We'll do that. I need one and one-fourth cup of brown sugar. And there's just brown sugar, no white sugar. The white sugar is in the crumbly topping. Yum. All right, let's go add salt to this. We're good to go. That was easy. That was a load of fun. <laughs> Man, this pantry, I'm really liking this. <laughs> I haven't made these in so long. I've already screwed up. I was supposed to put the brown sugar in with the butter and eggs. Duh. I mean, isn't that what you do when you bake? <clears throat> oh well. They're still gonna turn out good. Yum yum. All right, so I'm gonna get going <laughs> on everything else and then add this in. I, um, yeah, well, we'll see, right, right, right? Ah, uh, it'll be fine. It's all good, okay. All right, the kids are home, and now we're at tutoring, and I am gonna take a moment to relax, and I'm going to work on my cross stitch. I started this during the um, whole shutdown thing. So, I'm gonna work on this 
for the next 45 minutes and relax because when I get home uh, I need to start on dinner I'm moving slow today I'm like accomplishing a lot but filming and doing all the other stuff it like adds another layer of time in <laughs> oh my gosh but that's fine I'm getting stuff done right progress progress so all right I'm gonna take this time for me I'm gonna listen to a podcast and I'm going to zone out on this cross stitch Meet me with a I have three cups of shredded chicken that were left over from the chicken salad and we're gonna make dinner with this oh my goodness it is four o'clock and I want to clock out of this day I am very tired my body is still feeling really ucky from staying up 24 hours not on purpose but trying to get the um, house tour video for you I was having major <laughs> Uploading problems and it's been three days since then but my body still feels a key from that but anywho but this is the time of day you know starting at three o'clock where I'm just like I need caffeine I'm so tired but anyway we're gonna push through so I am thawing out some pesto this is from Costco um, I've got a more than half of this jar I need a half cup of this so I'm oh ooh, that smells good so I'm thawing this out to make dinner and this is what we're having chicken pesto parmesan shells what oh my gosh they sound and look amazing so this is what we're gonna make tonight and this is from the seriously good freezer meals cookbook by Carrie Truman she is amazing I love everything so far that I've made from her we have not made this yet I have been eyeing this for a long time and we are doing it tonight so if you I know a lot of you went out and got this cookbook after I recommended it it's on page 152 and this is what we're having for dinner tonight if you'd like a link to this cookbook I'll have one down below for you so she asks um, she calls for um, her Alfredo seasoning her afredo sauce and this I'm gonna look and see what her recipe is I haven't tried her afredo sauce I don't think so I'm gonna see if I'm gonna do that or just get a jar but I might just go ahead and try her so I'm gonna look over this recipe she refers back to her um, afredo sauce so I'm gonna look at that but before I can even start on this, I gotta clean the mess that I made. So I've got this going on, and I've got this going on. So, got to get ahead of myself before I make even more of a mess. I think I have one Coke Zero left in my fridge. I've been cutting back on soda, and I think today is the day that I need it, because I'm very sleepy. So I might just grab that and get this kitchen clean. <laughs> oh, what is your caffeinated drink of choice? Mine is Coca-Cola straight up. I don't like Diet Coke. It has to be regular Coca-Cola or Coke Zero. I don't mind Coke Zero. But Diet Coke is meh. Give it to me straight up. Okay. I have caught up. I'm running the dishwasher. That way we can empty it and then fill up what we need to from dinner. Now I'm gonna get going on the chicken pesto shell, Parmesan shell dinner. Mm -hmm. I haven't forgotten about my laundry. <laughs> oh no. I know it's still there. I know it's still there. I will do that after dinner. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ay, ay, ay. 
Yeah, I think I'll sit on the couch and fold laundry once um, this gets in the oven. All right, we're getting the shell dinner into the oven. I messed up big time making this. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you about it when it's all done, but let's get this in the oven. Dinner was delicious. So the thing that I screwed up on it was, you're supposed to put the Alfredo sauce, like regular sauce, on your pan, and then top the shells with it. I put it in the cream cheese mixture, but you know what? Either way, it was gonna taste the same when you're eating it, so it turned out good. The family downed it, so it was a hit. So it will be a yummy freezer meal. And I will put that in my freezer meal rotation. And when I do that and make them again, I'll share it with you. So, but it was delicious. All right, the kids are getting ready for bed. And I am going to bed. I am pooper scooper. Uh, the only thing that I didn't get to do on my list was mop the floor and bake the banana bread. I will do the banana bread tomorrow and I will spot mop the floor tomorrow. I didn't do that in my night routine. I was just like, cleaned up the kitchen, done. I'm done. It was a great day, a busy day, a very productive day. Yeah, I love, I love it when there's like a plan and you can get it done. I just went at my own pace and it got done. I try not to overload my schedule on certain days. Like, I will feel my energy. Like, I will map out, the, like, tomorrow in my mind, right? I'm, I've already got tomorrow mapped out. In the morning, I see how my energy is, and I see how I'm feeling. And if I know, like, okay, that's way too much. There's no way that's going to get done. I will cut that list. I will, you know. But I try to stick with my routines, my morning and my night routine. And whatever daily tasks it is like yesterday was Tuesday and my daily task was to clean out the fridge 
um, and make room for when I go grocery shopping. I didn't like, it was easy. It, I was so tired, I'm like, okay, some days I will wipe out the fridge, like wipe it down, but the fridge is still looking good. So I just hurried and went in and looked at the expiration dates, just kind of like glared at it, like I glanced over at everything to see like, okay, what is, what's not so fresh, what can we get rid of? And that was it, it was quick, 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 quick. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're doing good, and we'll see you soon. Bye.